this will be a video review for Ansel BT500. Uh, I already have the battery test to connect to the battery under there. I don't know if you can see the top right there. Uh, to And this will be tested with using an Android device, an Android uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus device. Uh, go to Google Play Store, look for Ansel or BT500 as a keyword, and you'll see the app right away. That will be this app, Ansel BT500. Go ahead and install it. I'm pretty away, further away from my Wi-Fi router. That's why the speeds are being, being a little slow. But yeah, it looks like it's finished. Let's see how it goes. Okay, the app's installed, so go ahead and open it. The way to pair the app to the battery tester will be to do it within the app itself. You should not be doing so by going into Bluetooth settings, which was the fault, which is what I was trying to do. And then I found out that uh, it would not pair. It kept asking me for a password, which I did not have access to. And I kept, kept you know, guessing all the pin numbers and it would never connect. So I contacted the seller and the seller got back to me on Friday night within like a couple hours of me contacting them with the proper answer saying, hey, just use the app. And within the app, go into settings. And that's located in the bottom right corner. And then click on device management. And then it will quickly scan and show you the device. In my case, it shows up as BT-1000. I'm not sure if it's a firm ratio or something, but that is completely fine by me because it connects still, still still the same and shows me all the options. Uh, once it's connected, you will see the, the MAC address, so the Bluetooth Wi-Fi right there. And then you go into the standard part. So we'll set it up first. I have not set this up yet. So we'll go here, select new battery. Just give it a random name, B-A-T-T, bat. And then uh, it's a regular flutter battery. Uh, we are measuring it by CCA standard, so we'll leave it at CCA itself. My battery is rated at 525 CCA, so we'll enter that there. And it's saved, so we'll click on test now. And then hopefully within a minute, we should have our results. The car is off right now, so we're just pulling a test. With everything being off, perfect. This is a two-year-old battery right now. It's showing me uh, 65 percent health with 423 ccas rated cca which is good enough as we want me hold the whole winter for it voltage being 12.79 which is still pretty healthy to me at this point uh the best part is actually if you have a profile for battery setup in there you can have multiple profiles if you already have one selected and you're using it in the same car for testing at a given interval you can keep testing it by tapping on the little test piece over there and it will log the results which you can export out if need be and it shows you the date and time and the battery you tested it for right there so it shows you the date and time for the first test shows me the date and time for the second test performed up there on the top and it will log subsequent tests like that this make you scroll back to like weeks or months worth of data and see hey what the last battery was how fast the battery is depleting so you can see i ran two tests back to back a minute apart and cca capacity same thing the voltage is the same uh, the only thing is the resistance is slightly off higher for the second test, but so that makes me believe this is pretty reliable system to have and portable. Uh, let's do you want to test over here. This is the quick battery testing, charging system test, I think. Sixty-four percent, slightly drop from us running subsequent tests on it cranking test so this will be basically cranking test so i'm going to move the camera back a little bit more i am going to click on test oh didn't click it okay 9.68 is the lowest voltage drop to cranking test so system is okay 180 milliseconds for cranking the car and again, shows the date and time on top for logging purposes, or you want to keep record for it. So we are going to go to the charging system test, which I'm a little curious about what the results will be. Uh, let's click on, let's 
make the RPMs, 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs for us. Lights on, hair on. the test it said everything's golden which is perfect which is what I wanted to have before the winter is here uh, everything's in the mid-range area uh, charging the volts Drupal is by millivolts I have to look that up what the values mean but the two first two letters are perfect uh, all right so yeah that's it uh, one main thing to remember which I did not do previously and I panicked thinking this was a defective item that I received is when using for the very first time make sure you always go into settings over here go to device management and select the bluetooth tester from over there not by going into settings and going to bluetooth over there that will mess you up that would not allow you to connect to it it will keep asking you for this pin number like a generic pin number like 0000 1234 1111 and none of those work you have to only you could only connect to this via the app so keep that in mind, uh, I did not, and I struggled quite a lot in the beginning with it. I contacted the seller uh, requesting help. The seller got back to me on Friday evening, which was this past Friday, two days ago, stating, hey, this is exactly how you should do it. And I, sure enough, I tested it one time and it worked perfectly fine, flawlessly. So yeah, that was a boo-boo on my side. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.